Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I am Michael Benitez. Today we're doing another video. And today we're doing another video on a ship that that was not actually real, but was on, but was in a movie. But in this movie, the ship the fictional ship was played by a real ship. I'm not joking when it comes to that. <laughs> now this ship what, now this former luxury liner built in the 1930s was called uh, uh, was um originally the uh was originally a French liner but in uh, but uh, and for the movie The Last Voyage the ship will be named the SS Clarendon. Let's begin the story of this of this uh, of this uh, movie star. In the late 1950s, Andrew L. Stone was trying to find a good movie, and he became and he decided to come up with his own uh, disaster flick called "91 Minutes of the uh, called The Last Voyage," and this movie would make history. Originally, the film was going to be uh, filmed off the coast of England, but in fact, it was filmed in the Sea of Japan. And soon, they were trying to find a ship that would be used as a floating prop. And they came across the recently retired French ocean liner, the SS Ile de France. Ile de France had recently retired in 1957, and the French line was trying, was trying to get, uh, find ways of using it. But so, Andrew L. Lee came, uh, came to the uh, French line and to ask to buy the ship to use in the movie, but under one condition. The French, for, uh, the French s uh, said that the ship would not be named Ile de France in the movie, and that the ship's name would not be seen. The, these uh, acquirements uh, Stone agreed to. So basically, they just basically put um, white emblems on the funnels of the Ile de France to make it look like to, for the fictional company in the movie, and then they would nick then they would name the Ile de France uh, the Ile de France, not the Ile de France, but the SS Clarendon. But now let's see the story of how the of how the ship played out. In the beginning sequence of the movie, we are informed that the SS Clarendon is a very old ship, and that it is uh, it is said to be scrapped after a few more voyages. However, this will be her last voyage. A a, a family is re is relocating to Tokyo, and they go and they are aboard the ship. However, things don't go according to plan. During the voyage, an explosion uh, from the boiler room occurs on the ship, and I'm no joking. The Ile de France was uh, literally blew, uh, was literally blown a hole into the Ile de France used for the movie, and it was very re realistic. They basically destroyed the entire ship in this movie. <laughs> So basically, Captain a uh, Captain Adams refuses to let people board the lifeboats yet, judging that he has never lost a ship. However, he the, he later decides to launch lifeboats, and so lifeboats began being launched into the water, and uh, uh, and be uh, and ships will be sent and um the light uh, and the SOS will be sent out. However, in, uh, so judging that in the Sea of Japan there were jellyfish, many of the swimming scenes were actually taking place in a storage tank in uh, in England. But the entire sinking sequence of the Ile de France, aka SS Clarendon, was taken in J in the Sea of Japan. Basically, jo um, firefighter tugs j uh, shot water into the uh, uh, into the ship's holds to make the ship sink. So basically, the the ship was sinking was sinking flat first, followed by another explosion. However, close to the end of the film, it seems like the ship is sinking bottom first, which I mean is that the ship is sinking really straight down. It's not it's not going uh, forward or isn't going backwards. It's going forwards. So basically, uh, so basically, the ship was sinking bottom first, which was very unique. However, there was one key diff there was one key element in this movie. 
The forward funnel collapsed on the wheelhouse, killing Captain Adams. However, there were nobody aboard the ship. Judging that this was a movie, no actors were aboard the ship at this time, and basically no one was hurt. No one was making the fi- uh, no, one was, no one was hurt during making this film. So basically, the way they did this was they had to torch part of the funnel of the uh, of the Ile de France and then pulled it forwards so that the uh, so that the smokes that were fall on the wheelhouse. This further destroyed the Ile de France. And I am sadly to say, the Ile de France, uh, playing the SS Clarendon, was sadly destroyed. Basically, because of the flooding explosions, destroyed her art decor, uh, decor, and that the ship was completely sunk. However, the SS Clarendon, played by the Ile de France, did not actually, it was not stay there, and actually was scr- was uh, refloated and scrapped, which I think was a bad idea, to, uh, so that they could just kept the ship there to save as a mo- uh, to save like for a movie star. This f- f- this ship was f- was a movie star, and there's also a key element in the mo- uh, of this cl- SS Clarendon. The uh, the sing- the last moments of the sinking were based off that of the SS Andrea Doria sinking of 1956, and the but there's also another key element of this. The Ile de France, which would later be used in the uh, in the movie as the SS Clarendon, was actually the first rescue ship uh, rescue ship to respond to the SS Andrea Doria's distress call, and in fact saved numerous survivors. Just four years later, Ile de France will be starred as the SS Clarendon in a best home film. And I am sadly to say that the ship used in the film, the SS Ile de France, was fl- refloated and scrapped, which I think was a bad idea. But the SS Clarendon will be one of the most famous uh, ships. Uh, actually, the SS Clarendon story has uh, completely been forgotten. That's not like a fictional ship. But yeah, just like the SS Poseidon, was very fate was very popular in a movie. The last voyage will be the final film involving Robert Stack and Dorothy Malone. They have they had appeared in two other films during this point, and this will be their last film together. This uh, this film was a complete hit and what made mi- and made millions of dollars. But it is not for the way the fi- it was not for the actors. It was the main actor of it all, the ship. The SS Clarendon, played by the SS Ile de France. One of the most beautiful masterpieces I've ever seen, and one of the most disastrous ways to see the death of a ship. As a movie star, that's the funny thing. Yeah, but still, kind of sad. But what do you guys think? Was the is it kind of cool to see that an actual ship, uh, uh, an actual ship, but actually na- uh, but was the name different was actually sunk in a movie, but then later scrapped? Trust me, I think it's actually pretty unique. Let me know in the comments section below of this video. Who do you prefer, the SS Poseidon or the SS Clarendon? Let me know in the comment sections below. I am Magamita signing out on the story. Of the film uh, of the ship that was played by the French liner Ile de France, the SS Clarendon.